There's a story up on Drudge that's from the Washington Times. Rand Paul demands Dems return money raised by sexual predator Bill Clinton. We're going to play the video in a moment. But but th that's it. Why always be on the defense while while they arrest Dinesh D'Souza and while they arrest governors for no reason, uh, who's a rising star against Hillary? And, and, and I don't like Chris Christie, but they're, like, obsessing over some bridge deal and all the rest of it while Democrats do stuff literally a thousand times worse. And, again, I'm just... I'm a big critic of Republicans when they're on office as well, and of Boehner and all of them. My thing is the Democrats really are the gutter scum of the earth. I don't mean the well-meaning camp followers. And they really are gangsters. And, and Gloria Steinem and all these fake feminists do not have the moral high ground. They, they are not consistent about women's rights. They are not consistent about anybody's rights. Somebody like Camille Paglia is consistent. These people are not feminists, okay? They don't want, want women owning guns. They don't want women empowered. I have two daughters. I want them to be the most informed, educated, healthy, smart, dynamic, armed, beautiful, vicious, 21st century cave man women. Because I'm a caveman too, folks. I'm natural. I've got my instincts. I want to be like that. And, and I want my son to be powerful and strong because I want to be free. And so the media is trying to act like it's outrageous. But the media is out of bullets, folks. They're out of political bullets. That's what I told Politico years ago when Rand Paul got elected. I said, listen, don't you get it? You need to endorse Rand Paul to destroy Rand Paul. Even if you don't like him, your endorsement will destroy him because the people run like the plague from the New York Times. And so they fence it out into Politico, and then the people run from that. They're running from you. We're sick of you. We know you're a bunch of con artists, globalist crooks and thugs, and a gang using social engineering to sabotage society so you can rule the pile of crud. And the answer is Bob Barr saying if he gets back in, he's going to impeach Obama. He's the guy that introduced the articles of impeachment with shippers and the rest of them. The answer is have Ted Cruz go with the jugular. The answer is have Rand Paul go with the jugular. The answer is have Alex Jones go with the jugular. And Matt Drudge go with the jugular. And Joseph Farah go with the jugular. And, and, and Glenn Beck go, to, go with the jugular. Listen, we're not going to beat these people playing games and quarter measures. We've got to all in, move the Overton window back to reality. They've got it all extreme where if you criticize five-year-olds being taught how to be transvestites or transgender, you're a, you're a homophobe. Uh, or, you know, if you don't want five-year-olds being taught how to have anal sex, you're a homophobe. Uh, or if you don't want to give illegal aliens free everything when nobody, no other country does that and we're going bankrupt, you're a, you, you hate Mexicans. It's all them with fake moral high ground. We have all the ammo, Benghazi and NSA and IRS and just all the lying and the cheating and Obamacare and the fraud and all of it to totally destroy these people, overthrow the Republican establishment, have the libertarians take over and literally save the country. Or if they keep taking over and we lose this round, they'll all just get the blame, the globalists. And so we'll just win in the next round because resistance is victory. Never giving up is victory. We're just as good as the scum that runs the New World Order. We're better. We just don't cheat like them. We've got the power. We've got the mouths like alligators. It's time to get aggressive and eat these people alive. It's time to gut up and stomp. It's time to get aggressive. It's time to get back in their face. So when Rand Paul comes out and says Obama's a sexual predator, excuse me, Freudian slip, uh, Clinton's a sexual predator, that's the type of rhetoric we need because it's true and it gives us the offensive instead of just laying there and taking it from these crooks that sit there and lecture us. What about how Bill Clinton keeps half the money on record from the charities? for his private jet fleet and his houses for kids in Haiti. He's a scumbag. Call him out. Here's Rand Paul talking about it on C-SPAN. Senator, let me follow up on two final points. First of all, you made some headlines when you referred to former President Bill Clinton as, quote, a sexual predator. And one of your colleagues, Senator Claire McCaskill, said that your comments were, in her words, infuriating. Your reaction. 
Well, Senator McCaskill needs to remember what she had to say about Bill Clinton, that she wouldn't want her daughter in the same room with him. So they can't have it both ways. The Democrats can't say, oh, we're the great defenders of women's rights in the workplace, and we will defend you against uh, some kind of abusive boss that uses their position of authority to take advantage of a young woman when the leader of their party, the, leader fun the leading fundraiser in the country, is Bill Clinton, who was a perpetrator of that kind of sexual harassment. You know, so they can't have it both ways. And so I, I really think that uh, anybody who wants to take money from Bill Clinton or have a fundraiser has a lot of explaining to do. In fact, I think they should give the money back. If they want to take a position on women's rights, by all means do, but you can't do it and take it from a guy who is using his position of authority to take advantage of young women in the workplace. I mean, for goodness sakes, he paid an $800,000 fine for sexual harassment. So he admitted to it in one court case and really, I think, has been convicted in the public place for the other, the other sexual harassment. And because his crimes are so outrageous, no one will even talk about what came out in the news, settling cases for raping women, biting them, beating them up, choking them. I mean, we're going to repost all those old articles from the 90s. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other members of the fluorine family that are added to Western water supplies are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the people that drink it. So the question is, why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple, dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We developed Fluoride Shield to be the highest quality, highest standards because I use it every day and my family uses it every single day. Let's take a closer look at the ingredients that make up this special proprietary formula. Tamarind has been celebrated for its ability to immobilize toxic fluoride residues, while zeolites have a long history of attracting and holding toxic compounds. Enter fulvic acid, an excellent cleansing agent. Then we added the highest quality shilajit, a rare compound that is collected from the high mountains of the Himalayas. We topped it all off with the powerhouse herb cilantro that is intended to mobilize fluoride and other dangerous compounds for removal from the body. And the final touch to energize this formula is our proprietary nascent iodine. And as always, consult your physician as well because that is important. And finally, Fluoride Shield, Survival Shield, and all the products at InfoWarsLife.com grew out of my quest to try to find the very best compounds from God's cornucopia to protect myself and my family. And from our research, I believe we are bringing you the best, highest quality products. And you have that commitment from Alex Jones and the entire InfoWars crew.